Well, today for Bible, we're finishing up uh, that second part of John Fox, um, from the one who wrote the Book of uh, Martyrs, or Fox's Book of Martyrs. And so we're going to start off here in part two, The Price They Paid. Queen Mary of England, known as Bloody Mary, died after reigning for only five years. Her sister Elizabeth became the new queen. Bishops urged Elizabeth to submit to the leadership of the Pope, but Elizabeth refused. I and my house will serve the Lord, she said. We will covenant with God, not with the Bishop of Rome. As word spread across the country, Christians who had been exiled from England joyfully returned home. John Fox was finishing the Book of Martyrs in Germany and delayed his return until the book was published. Fox returned to England in 1559, nearly a year after Elizabeth became queen. One of Fox's greatest joys in returning home was seeing his friend and former pupil Thomas, now the Duke of Norfolk. It is so good to see you again, friend Fox. We have waited many months for your return. I have longed to be home and see you again, Thomas. But now I, must bring, now I bring my finished work with me, and I praise God for that. Many of your friends are asking uh, when there will be an English version of your book, said Thomas. Thousands in England cannot read Latin very well to appreciate the testimony of the, mart of the martyrs. An English version is my goal, Fox replied, but first I must find better paying work or my family will starve. Thomas invited Fox and his family to live in his house in London for as long as they wished. I would be, very, I would be ungrateful if I ever forgot the lessons I learned from you when you were my tutor. Should you stay with me for a lifetime, my debt to you would not be paid. Fox and his family lived in Thomas's house for 10 years as Fox continued to preach and write. 1563, the English version of the Book of Martyrs was published, containing over 1,800 pages. It became popular immediately. Five editions of the book were published during Queen Elizabeth's lifetime. People in all parts of the kingdom became aware of the godly heritage the martyrs had passed down to them. In the summer of 1563, a plague broke out in London, killing thousands of people and forcing many to flee. Several of Fox's friends urged him to leave as well, but he refused. God needs men to stay and pray for the sick and comfort the dying. I am not afraid of death, for that will only take me home to my father. Fox prayed faithfully that the Lord would heal the city, and he also wrote letters to those outside London for financial aid. I speak not for myself, but for those who cannot help themselves. I, I ask that you, in Christian duty and kindness, will give the brethren your helping hand by sending them money to meet their needs. Not long after that, funds started to come in, and within a few weeks, the plague disappeared. In May of 1568, Mary, Queen of Scots, fled from danger in her own country and took refuge in the northern part of England. Soon, Thomas became involved in her political schemes to overthrow the good Queen Elizabeth. He even planned to marry Queen Mary. One day, Fox spoke to Thomas about this. I have heard rumors that you intend to marry the Scottish Queen Mary. Please tell me these rumors are false. I pity her, Thomas answered. She is so unhappy, and you know I need a wife. But you cannot marry someone who plans to overthrow our Queen Elizabeth. We must keep Mary from taking the English throne. I warn you, Thomas, do not become involved in her plans. The day you marry her will bring you no good but evil. Despite Fox's warning, Thomas still planned to marry the Queen of Scots, but he was arrested and sentenced to death for helping in a plot to overthrow Queen Elizabeth. Fox remained a faithful friend to Thomas. He visited him in prison and promised to attend him at the scaffold. God is quick to forgive, Thomas. Search the scripture and pray. He will give you comfort you need. Because of uh, Fox's encouragement, Thomas was able to face death calmly and at peace with God. He urged those present to give their allegiance to God, not to the Church of Rome. Even in his death, Thomas did not forget Fox. In his will, he arranged for Fox to be paid a sum of money each year so that he could continue his writing. Because of his faithful service, Fox was respected and admired by people all across the country. Queen Elizabeth called him our good father Fox, and even strangers came to help for him, or came to him for help. John Fox died on April 18, 1587, and was buried two days later. His book of martyrs was reprinted and reprinted, and people even today continue to read it. John Fox was dedicated to helping others. He witnessed boldly for the cause of Christ and left a shining example of devotion to God. Well, that's it. You have two pages to do, 269 and 270. That's it for Bible for this year. Have a wonderful weekend and look forward to the last week of school next week. Bye.